SP, Staying Power, the history of black people in Britain. Let's see what it says. It says somewhere here, let's take an excerpt. Uh, blah, 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 blah. More decorative still were the costumes chosen for the black people who often performed in the London or other in the Lord Mayor's pageant, the annual festival of London's merchant capitalists demonstrating the wealth of the metropolis and showing how a lot of it was obtained. The pageant replaced the midsummer show or watch in which a king of the Moors, played by a white actor, had traditionally symbolized Africa, that rich, exotic and mysterious continent. In 1521, 21, yeah, 1521, this character, you're going to like this, played by one John Wakeling, whose fee was five shillings for the two nights, right, was dressed in red, and black, satin, yeah, you get that? It says he was uh, 1521. This character was dressed in red and black satin with shoes made of, wait for it, wait for it, silver paper. SP. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it says here. This is the character dressed in red and black satin with shoes made of SP, silver paper, and had a canopy over his head. All well, fancy that. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. In the pageant written by the dramatist Thomas Middleton for the Grocers' Company in 1613, the King of the Moors, his Queen, and two attendants of their own colour made an appearance on a strange ship. Ship, you know, boat, Noah. <laughs> made an appearance on a strange ship. The King, who seemed much astonished at the many eyes of such a multitude, made a long speech beginning with the words, I see amazement set upon the faces of these white people wanderings and strange gazes. Is it at me does my complexion draw so many Christian eyes that never saw a king so black before? <laughs> 